That's enough oh. of that. Thank you very much. Welcome back to Anderson's TV. It's nice to have a Strat in my hand again for oh, a no. while. I haven't played Strats for ages. Uh, so yes, welcome back to Anderson's TV. All uh, absolutely. We need to tell you to like and subscribe. We absolutely do, because we never do that. We're, we always it forget. Feel like um, we do it. Yes, we're on yeah. our way to a million subscribers. Have been on that journey for quite some yeah. time. Uh, when we do get there, one of you will win yeah. one of those original clons in the middle. And on the way there, every 10,000 new subscribers, a random yeah. one of you will win should, something else. We shouldn't forget to say thank you to all of you out there watching as well. Because we, shouldn't. we never really do, do we? Mm, and we appreciate me. you. We love you very much. <laughs> Send more money. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Fender Ultra replaced the Fender Elite uh, two or three yes. years ago. So it did. One so it did. million percent my favourite new... Fender addition to the catalog in mm -hmm. recent years. Yeah. Uh, Ultra is, you know, all of its DNA is stratty. You're not going to pick one up and go, oh, this is a bit weird. It's very familiar. But what it does, and we'll go top to bottom here, yeah. you get locking tuners. Locking. You get a compound radius fretboard going from uh, 10, 10 to 14. 14 inches. So sort of, you know, a little bit radius -y curve down here, pretty mm -hmm. flat up here. You get this new D-shaped profile, which perhaps feels a little bit thinner than a traditional style. Mm -hmm. Satin. Satin here. Mm -hmm. um, noiseless pickups. S1 switching. Nice contemporary style two-point trim system. Uh, lovely calves. Yep. Nice calves, mm -hmm. different kind of heel joint. Comes with a lovely case. Anyway, that's you get that on all the ultra stuff. So beautiful that's ebony boring. Um, board as well. Look at that. Yes. I love that. Love uh, that. What Fender have done very successfully every few months since the Ultra came out are these limited edition flame tops. So this is called Tiger Eye. Uh, it's very, very beautiful. Uh, as you can see, it's got like a flame veneer in this mm -hmm. Tiger Eye sort of brown burst. This one here is like, um, it looks like a, a Paul Smith. <laughs> does a bit, doesn't Ooh. it? Yeah, there I are, say that. There are three uh, six string electric guitars in this limited edition run. So you've got a Tele, an HSS Strat, and a, and a three single coil Strat. The and there's also a bass, which yes. you'll see on screen now. Must. Um, the guitars are all £2,399. Uh, they are limited edition. I don't think we've got terribly many. But Mr. Pete, do you want to know. give us I, some yeah, tones? Absolutely, I can. Well, let's turn everything off for those of you out there that say you never play the guitars with no effects just straight into it's the not true. amplifier. It's, it's not, not true. true. We the, always do a part yeah. of the demo with no pedals. I would also suggest, I know, you, I'm, I know probably most of you are moved on to another video by now, but I'd like to say just watch the video before you comment as well. Sometimes it works. Don't do that. Don't no, do that. Just, just the first no? thing that comes into your head, right, just comment immediately. Yeah, in the first 10 seconds, <laughs> just comment. It's always fun. It. Anyway, uh, here's a G chord. Did you mention, by the way, these are older bodies? Did I didn't, you mention that? no, I didn't, you didn't mention that. So, no. uh, yeah, so you get an older body. Liz Hurley's got an older body, but it still looks it's fantastic. It's still fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that's straight into the amp. That Nothing great. else. It sounds great. It's got the telly, it's the noiseless vintage uh, voiced pickup. So what are we on, like generation five of these noiseless pickups now, haven't we? I don't Everyone know. that comes out Fender claim it's just slightly more better. like uh, a regular vintage pickup, it does, but with no noise. It does sound good. Again, I hate to say it every single time. I sound like a broken record and my mum, uh, and my dad for that matter. Why do you put nines on these guitars? They should be set up beautifully with it. And I just, I You don't think like nines, do you? It's really difficult, I think. Depends, but you can hear what I'm saying, right? If I play it a little bit hard you know on the top, There's especially a, the top We strings. need to do a survey. A uh, survey says, and we'll go to guitar players and we'll say, if you play a 25 and a half inch scale guitar, it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be a Fender, but it has to be 25 uh -huh. and a half inch scale. Yeah. What gauge string do you use? Which and if the majority come out 10, we'll pass that information over to Fender and maybe they'll And Fender will look at it and go, I mean, I know why they do it, because I think, again, more novice guitar players will just find the nines a little but slinkier if you to play. Are, if, you, if you start on gauge 10 strings, what, what are you, you're not going to know and, nines. But and anyway, who are we to say novice? I mean, Ingve plays eights, Billy Gibbons plays eights. Yeah. I'm sure I read somewhere else that someone else yeah, had got eights. Say sevens. Um, I know. 
But there was a Rick Beato video he put in on the strings, mm. and he said they don't sound any different. But you can definitely hear it becomes like that, and yeah. the, maybe it's my personal preference. But I just think guitars like this deserves a little bit more. PRS well, you know put, what? PRS when you, and when you pop this in the basket, go back into the Anderson's website, search Ernie Ball. Find a set of 10 to 46 strings and pop them in the basket or too. Or pop a plick in, in there. Maybe, I don't know, but anyway, there we go. Anyway, so whatever, here we go. And I'm going to put a Can uh, I hear some S1 you, you switching before you put oh your yes, pedals sorry, on? Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. So S1 switching works in the middle, right? Does it not work everywhere? It only works in the middle, where it's, it's, it goes from That's single right. to parallel, right? Uh, it works differently on the strap. Yeah. But so you're right. Yeah. It's, and it's a really nice feature to have because it's like having a humbugger pickup. I'm just going to put a... Uh, um, Universal Audio UAFX Teletronics on there. Sounds like this. And then a reverb on top of the reverb. Oh. If you've not seen it yet, we had a guitar player called Dom Martin in here yesterday, and he does reverb on reverb on reverb. reverb. It's my new favorite guitar sound. Mm -hmm. I love these guitars, man. I love these guitars. You just don't like just, nine gauge strings, nine, do you? I, it's not that I don't. It's just I feel like I'm missing out on lots of feel. I feel like I'm missing out on lots of more feely stuff that I don't yeah. really. Anyway, I digress. I Let's gotta be honest with you. I, I remember the last uh, flame top ones of these that came in were a, were a denim blue. Looks, they do look fantastic, and I I would normally. I don't remember those. They must have gone past I don't know me. what it is with me. If you said, here's a traditionally appointed Fender Tele or uh -huh. Fender Strat, I find the whole flame top thing a total turn off. It's like not my thing at all. Yeah. But as soon as you kind of modern it up a little bit, I think the flame thing just totally works. Let um, me just put before. Yes. Let me put some overdrive. <laughs> Middle position. S1, S1 switch. And it's quiet. The neck pickup sounds it's quiet. fabulous. It's quiet. It is. So, yeah. Maybe that's the nines are good at, at that sort that. of. So maybe you go nine, Slightly you go flappy. forty-two to something here. Then these ones you go ten. Exactly. Half, 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 half. Exactly. Um, yeah, it's good. Okay, here's the one with three single coils. I mean, I'm guessing the one with the humbucker is going to sound largely the same. Well, we'll figure I, it out. Well, I tell you what, I think the S1 switching is a little different. Anyway. So yes, I have switched all my pedals off as well, temporarily. <laughs> uh, do you know, I... Do you understand what I mean? It's not just... With the blinky it, blinky. Everything contributes. It's because all my pedals have turned off as well, and I'm like going, I just want a bit more boost.
I think those nine gate strings, you you want more out of them. You want yeah. a little bit more low end, so you have to put something on, you know. Yeah. Like a sexy uh, okay. ne ne negligee. So let's just leave it Launch with no, uh, so no, no pedals at all. Here we go. They roll the edges really nicely on these. Should do for 2400 quid. Probably my least favorite Strat sound is the, I would probably go HSS on, uh, on this sort of guitar. Let's, uh, let's see what S1 sounds like. Doesn't do anything in that position. Aha. Yeah, so I think it's all three. Is it just bringing the neck pickup in? Yeah. Okay. Um, so in the three, yeah. So S1 on this guitar is going to bring the neck pickup in. So it's not going to do anything on the first two positions because obviously the neck pickup is already in. So it's going to do something like, typically I guess it's when you're on the bridge pickup. So I'm now getting these two here. Definitely making a difference. I'd have to look up in the manual what it does. Maybe it's all three pickups. Yeah, nothing in the two first yeah. position. All that's happening there by adding the neck pickup in is I'm getting the same basic sound as I am there. So really, mm -hmm. your main benefit is when you're on the bridge pickup, you can just fatten it up. So if I put some pedals in and maybe I just give it a bit of a boost and a bit of compression, which boost. I do like for a clean sound. Now I'm getting the fatness back. Like that a lot. And then if I had some distortion, this is just a Dane, so. And then if I was gonna, well, we'll give it yeah, a bit on the bridge break. pickup. Oh, with the neck as well. And then my go-to kind of lead guitar sound is to use the tumness into the Dane. Tumness. And as you can hear now, I mean, there's a little bit of background noise because of all of the distortion yeah, yeah. going on, but there's no, no, there's no added noise from a, a single quality. Yeah, got... One, two, three, and a compressor on. I like that. Yeah, that's a, look, super, super guitar. Big fan of the Ultra. Uh, that's the one I would buy. Should have, I should have been the demo one for that. But let's give us some sounds on that, Mr. Pete. Okay, so neck pickup, getting no pedals on. Nice floaty trim, position four. What is that chord? That's a middle position and position two. S1 should work for you now. Yeah, so you you split it and then you get the two together as two single calls. And here, that's the... 
full humbugger. Yeah. I, I still want. Feel, want, want I feel it's bigger you know, things. This just this just a bit weak, man. You know what I mean? It doesn't sound weak when you play it. I I think it's maybe it's a uh, saga somatic. No, in I, my... I think if you. If you play tens, you get used to a resistance, and when the resistance isn't there, you're sort of going. Oh, no, we play it's, nines. It's we play there. nines and tens all the time, mm. and it's not that I I've played nine. I played nine and a half. But eleven gets seconds. It's twelve and some. You know, an acoustic is going to thirteen, and you get used to playing all the different stuff. There's just a there's just a tonality thing. It just becomes clinky clanky. And as soon as you put something on like like this, you know this uh, LA two A, you you get that fatness back. You get and it then, back, and then yeah. you get it back, and then it's fine. And that's then it's I mean, like, that's great. I'm pretty sure that in Andersons, at least, for every hundred sets of Ernie Ball we sell, it is about and it's nine. 60 yeah. tens, nine, uh, 40 nines. Oh, really? So, yeah, more so I think more people tens. do use tens than. It's just a than, little uh, bit more. And of course, on, I guess a lot of that's perhaps driven by if you've got a guitar with a slightly shorter scale length. You're naturally yeah. going to be more inclined to go tens. Anyway, you know what? But you do you. Okay. Yeah, you do let's, you, let's baby. Put a, let's do the humbuggers with a bit of game. of E, is that because you can go down? Right? So you're it into it now. Like a got yeah, into but it. I love these guitars, they're amazing. I would just put a 7 10 on it, you know. So there's I'll nothing do it for you. As soon as we finish the, the video, guitars. Mr. Pete, I'll get it right done. <laughs> no, no, uh, no. Okay, let's, uh, that's it. Links are below. The limited edition, uh, $23.99 is the price in yes. UK money. They're beautiful. Um, beautiful yeah. guitars. So that's it. Limited edition, right? Indeed. So get we... one while there. I, I want to play that. Jam out. Yeah, you I'll play, play that. This one. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Bye bye.